Obsolete's first gaming stream. I hope I don't flub it. I feel like I already did. But anyways, here we go. Tonight, I got a treat for you. Ambrosia's weird, lovely classic, Harry the Handsome Executive. Now, I gotta be honest about this uh, title. I myself have not actually finished it, or even really played much of it. But, of course, it's an Ambrosia game. How can you go wrong, right? Let us fire it up. You know what? Before I do, I'd love to introduce you to my computer. So this is my PowerMax 7100. Okay. 
And uh, let me just make sure I'm getting audio. Oh yeah, we are. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, I think I'm hearing that the music was a little too loud. I apologize for that. So this is my Power Mac 7100. I got this computer when I was, oh, I don't know, 10 years old. It was a hand-me-down. Uh, it was an office computer originally, an accounting computer in an architectural firm. And, uh, you know, it sat in my garage for many years. And about a year ago, I dug it back out. Sorry, not a year ago, five years ago now. I dug it back out and I got in touch with some people through the 68K MLA forum. And one of the guys I met, I went over to his house and in return for a Mac Classic 2 I had in my collection, he handed me about a big moving box of new bus cards and stuff to go in it. So, uh, sorry, new bus cards and, and things for the 7100 and, in, and a whole other 7100 uh, that I, I don't use. It's the 7166, I believe. Anyways, I've spent a little time cleaning this thing up. I've made a video about it already, but I'm just so goddamn proud of this thing. It's so cool. I mean, it's not by any means the fastest Macintosh ever made, obviously. It's uh, it's not even a remarkable, you know, uh, entry into the Power Mac world, but I don't know. There's just something I find charming about it because I've had it my whole life. It was my first computer. Uh, so I, I like to keep it around and I like to show it off. So anyways, that's what I've been doing. I've been running this on stream for a little while and I've been uh, doing some renders. And uh, you can see it's just dog slow. It plays games all right though, I think. I think it'll play Harry all right. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna open up my games. See, man, does anybody else miss the old Apple menu? You could just drop a folder in it and just have access to everything through this like nice, I guess like a lot of Linux Windows managers have kind of copied this, but man, I miss it so much. Obviously in OS X with like favorites and, and all that stuff, it's really easy, but I don't know, I just miss it a lot. Anyways, here we go. Here's my rather large games library. Oh, uh, stats on this computer. 8 gigabyte compact, sorry, 16 gigabyte SD card, and a compact flash adapter, and a compact flash to SCSI adapter. I think it uses an FPGA. I'm not really sure what the architecture is that makes it work, but pretty cool. Got it off eBay. Just zero configured, just worked out of the box, as I'm sure most of these solutions do now. Uh, maxed out the RAM. It's not the max RAM it can have. It was the max amount of RAM I could find that worked. So it's like, what, yeah, 104 megs. I think it goes up to like 100, 128 or something like that, megs of RAM. I don't know, hard to say. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Excuse me, Harry the Handsome Executive. Okay, truth be told, I never really played this game back in the day. I encountered it and I saw it and I knew it was wonderful and weird, but I never really tried it. I mean, with Ambrosia Games, I'm sure if you're anything like me, you had tons of them. This might be a bit loud. Hang on one sec. Sorry guys, did it again. I hope that's not too loud for everybody and you can still hear me. Uh, to, uh, well, anyways, you can tell me. So, here we go. Harry the Handsome Executive. Of course, uh, standard Ambrosia panel. You know, just look at this wireframe, uh, wheelie chair. Just beautiful. I mean, this game, I, even back in the day, I sort of realized that it embodied, you know, the sort of corporate ennui that the 90s seemed to possess, you know? 
uh, like movies like Office Space sort of feel like uh, the logical outcome of those feelings and uh, I don't know, it just seems like in the 90s, like Dilbert, like all of these things were focused on corporate culture in America and, 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 and just how soul-destroying and terrible it was. So I have a feeling, I, I haven't played through the whole game, but I did play a couple rounds the other day uh, of the first level just to sort of get into it. I got an Apple uh, Pro Keyboard, I think it's called. Lift it up here. Yeah, I'm rocking my Apple Design keyboard right now. I had an extended keyboard, and it doesn't have a D-pad, so or a, a number pad. So I kind of want to use that for this. Rotate left, rotate right, scoot, inch, power kick, space bar, select item. We're gonna do. Let's do select item, use item, and that. You know, we'll try and do it sort of as. Okay, thank you. Yes, I see you can hear me. Alright, so here we go. Harry, the handsome executive. Harry snuggled into his plush first-class seat and closed his eyes. The closed drone of flight and sublimating rush of recycled air always seemed to help him sleep. The five complimentary chocolate chip cookies had helped too. What wasn't helping him, however, was the unpleasant, perky stewardess standing in the aisle. He could feel their inquisitive stare. Sir? Harry pretended to be asleep. Sir, would you be interested in learning about some of our entertainment options on this flight? Harry opened one eye and raised an eyebrow. No, miss, I wouldn't. Thank you. We have some great films available tonight. No, thank you. Are you sure, sir? I'm pretty bloody well certain, thank you, Harry snarled. You're sure, sir? Our feature presentation tonight is entitled Message from Dr. Uberman, except, you know what, I'm not going to be able to read this whole thing. But if I recall correctly, it's all about... He's like, it's like some James Bond fantasy where he's on the plane and he's getting some secret message. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure how this ties into the whole game. No. Anyways, let's move on. I feel like this is very reminiscent of Escape Velocity to me, though. Where, you know, Escape Velocity starts with, like, you know, the... the, the and, and the, the whole story of, of After Earth, and uh, I don't know, I feel like there may be some overlapping game code? I have no reason, I have no proof other than a feeling. I wonder, I wonder. What came first? I'm guessing, yeah, Escape Velocity had to come before here. Mixing up my dates then. Alright, here we go. So this is Harry. He's in his office, he can do a power scoot can inch towards things, you know, if you've ever used a wheelchair, you get this mechanic. And here we are in our bleak, soulless, corporate setting. There's, you know, tables, desks covered in discarded files. I mean, I don't know who laid out this office, though. This isn't, this isn't very, uh, you know, productive or efficient. Oh, 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 oh! Ooh, yeah. You can kick those vending machines and then... A pop flies at you. Hits you in the face. Unlike other games, uh, oh, hang on. Welcome to your new home at Scumco. You can move around by pushing your feet off the carpet. To do so, press the scoot key. Once you've figured out how to move around, look for another memo. Okay, great. So we've already completed that part. We're well ahead of the game. Let's go here. Harry can gain greater speed by kicking off solid objects. Press the kick key when facing such objects. So here we go, we're gonna line up, and then we're gonna use the kick key. Oh my gosh, look at that. Amazing. You gotta love the game mechanics on this, right? And again, like, I feel like there's a lot of overlap to EV. Oh, that's nice. When you go on something smooth like these, uh, you know, these uh, floor mats that they used to, I guess they still do have them in offices to uh, help wheelie, uh, I don't know why they put it in a hallway, though. I guess they assume employees are going to uh, use their wheelie chairs to uh, you know, get from room to room. This room contains some other things you may encounter during your epic quest. Once you're comfortable in the Scumco corporate community, you can begin work. Just follow the hallway near the guy who's playing darts. Oh, jeez. I'm getting, I'm getting a sense that, uh, you know... This is not the most efficient of offices. It's a lot of waste. 
But again, you know, that, that plays Ooh, into the yeah. whole 90s uh, sort of, and 80s too, I'm sure, but, you know, I definitely remember it more. Minimum, minimum, minimum. Sorry, wrong number. Yeah. I feel like in the office of today, still, you know, we're we're still dealing with those those landline phones. It's like the only place the landline still still has root is in like corporate settings where people need a landline. Hang on, what's up here? There's the guy playing darts. Good work, bud. All right. this you found a copying machine will let you return to the current point in the level from a save game that's awesome a copy machine good thinking good thinking all right obsolete nice all right doing pretty good here got a key <laughs> i wish Look at this guy. He is bored. This is a locked door, but beyond it lies the exit. To open a locked door, you must find a key of the corresponding color. Find a key of the corresponding... And then select it from the inventory and touch the door. Ah, yes. Okay. So, those are our inventory select keys. And then we can use it to open the door. And kick it open, just like in real life. That's how you do it. Yeah. Alright, level two, to the incinerator. Ugh. Shared office. I'm surprised there's not more cubicles in this game. Like, I know that there's like a tile set that they're using to sort of imply that it's a cubicle setting. But, uh, it really doesn't read as a cubicle to me. And I feel like that's, you know, a necessary part of the motif they're going for. But still, it's Ambrosia. You can't... Fault Ambrosia. Whatever happened to Ambrosia, though? I mean, can you believe all the games that they had, they had back in the day, and like none of them are on mobile? Like, how many how, how many of us would kill? Well, I'm sure some of their games just wouldn't translate to a touch of the Still, anyways, okay. From Dr. E. Uberman, executive manager. Oh, that guy from the uh, opening narrative. Harry, I need you to go pick up the employee comment forms from the conference room and deliver them to the incinerator for me. Consider this a high priority assignment. Right. Yeah, just laying it on thick with that. Yeah. Oh god, this ringing sounds are deadly. Alright. I forgot there's a map. The CEO thinks we should generate the company's interactive strategy. Yeah, a little corporate speak for you. Alright, I'm gonna open the map. Okay, cool. So it's like a, a moot, you know map with like a little fog of war there. <laughs> hey Harry, did you catch the game last night? Man. I'm sorry dude. I don't know what you're talking about. This is interesting. Doesn't anyone ever synergize the informative business commitment? Don't you want to bet that's just like randomly generated? Okay, can't get up there. That's the stairwell it looks like. Very cool. Got a little one-way barrier. Okay. Man, who did this layout for this office? We're gonna take this office and we're gonna embed it in about 500 meters of concrete. And then blue walls. Gotta have blue walls. Look at that. And I want a big square boardroom table and like three chairs. Mmm, tasty. I haven't noticed any bathrooms in this place either. Oh, yeah. Alright, sweet. We got the, uh, the, uh, Employee comment cards, uh, full of their, you know, concerns and uh, whinging and complaining that I'm sure corporate has absolutely no interest in hearing. So I think we might want to do another one of these power stores. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Incinerator. Let's get her done. Oh. That oh no! Locked. It's locked. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's awesome. Alright, so clearly, we need a blue key. Hmm, looks like the incinerator office over there. Maybe Pam will be able to give me the key. Who the hell's Pam? 
Uh, I think I was up here earlier. Okay. Yeah, you gotta love the soundtrack. It's like three bars, but it, it gets the job done. Oh my god, more phones. Okay, I need a little break room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I know it's not gonna let me in, but I just wanna hear that sound again. Oh no, it's locked! It's great. Here we go. I, I remember seeing these, like, these pads everywhere. These, like, slick desk chair things. And I've been in a few offices re recently, and I feel like you don't see them anymore. Oh. I feel like if you wanted to make Harry the Handsome Executive now, it would be standing desks and, like, what else would there be? Um, I, I guess you'd go the whole Silicon Valley route, and it would be, like, you know, uh, game room, beer taps, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm getting through these guys here. Haha! <laughs> this has got to be where I gotta go. Like, why else would they do this? <laughs> I gotta say, I also really like this control, this control style as convoluted and kind of frustrating as it is. There's something very fluid about it and satisfying. Which, you know, I feel like Escape Velocity, again, has this a similar sort of physics, uh, maybe not physics engine, but like, you know, they, they, they sort of cared about the same sort of feels. Jeez Louise, I don't want to get hit by this person. Okay. Nope, wrong way. Nope! Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Whew. Ah, here's the key. I wonder how it ended up here. This office, man, just slagging Ooh, yeah. huge. And look at this guy, he's throwing floppies. I bet you, I bet you the joke is that they're AOL floppies. Is that it? I think I see an AOL logo on there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's a good gag. It's a good bit. Really dates this, but you know. I mean, I feel like the entire game dates itself. Jeez. Am, am I crazy? Is this a one-way door or something? Alright, I guess we're not getting out that way. It's so weird. Oh, maybe I need to do that once, uh, once I've incinerated this stuff. Hmm. Mistake. Oof. Go. Oh, that was close. Nice donuts. Sweet. Mmm, tasty. Mmm. All right. Oh, look at that. What do you think that's supposed to be? Caffeine pill? Definitely. Definitely. I think I read that somewhere. Alright, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, jeez, you're kidding me. Yeah. So what are you supposed to do? You just done that from the beginning. Caffeine pill. So what do you think that does? Let's give it a let's give it a little a little test here. Swivel combat! Oh, nice. yeah. Swivel combat. Swivel chair. Yeah, I guess that's what they're called, eh? Not wheelie chairs. Alright. I feel so alone in this remote corner. Won't you keep me company? Nobody likes me. Just just bleak. Uh contemporary dystopic nightmare of offices and TPS reports and just I wish I could go back in time and tell the people of the nineties, you know, it's like, don't worry man, it's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be worse. <laughs> It's gonna be worse than you could possibly imagine. Nice. Just like every incinerator, when you put files in it, it shrinks into the wall and reveals a... So there we go. Am I gonna do any level editing? Sorry, I'm not watching the chat. I, you know, I, I wasn't gonna. I, I hadn't planned on it. 
I didn't even realize this had a level editor, but that makes a lot of sense, right? Because Ambrosia was sick tight at offering upgrades and extension support, you know? So, sure, I mean, yeah, I'll give that a whirl. I don't have, if the level editor doesn't come with the game, I don't have it yet, which means I'll have to open Classilla and try and use the internet on this machine, because <laughs> I don't have any of my uh, 10.4, OS X 10.4 machines online, so I can't really, like, get files on it right now. Uh, that's how I do it. I have a uh, an Ethernet adapter, by the way, in, in case anyone cares. I have an Ethernet adapter, and then I use uh, Apple Talk through a Power Mac G4 I have. Uh, Mirror Door Drive G4. It's a pretty sweet little, little G4, but it is loud and annoying. And you know what? I think I prefer it uh, to the uh, 7100. To be honest, I forget how to even get to it. Yeah, you know, I I'm sure it's there, because I did look on Ambrosia's site when I downloaded this, and uh, they have tons of add-ons and stuff for it, so... Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure you could. Uh, I may do that later, but uh, I hadn't planned on it. Note to myself, I've got to get some sunlight. If I stay under these fluorescents much longer, I may lose my healthy, vibrant glow. I hope there's a window somewhere in this building. Signed, Harry. So I guess that's a letter to me, from me, to remind me what my motivation is in this game. Uh, whoa, no, I don't want to abort the game. Uh, which is interesting. I, I really feel like that opening sort of text really didn't, didn't, uh, explain anything about what I was doing or where I was going. Maybe I missed something. Alright, so we are now further than I've ever been in this game. I've done the first two levels before. Never done this part. I have a feeling this is gonna be like a wind puzzle mechanic. Yeah, yeah, can't get up there. What if I do a super jump? No. Well, even if I could, where was I? Where, where would I go? So, okay, I gotta go this way. Alright, there we go. Going this way. And like, what office would line their halls? with this stuff. Oh no, a mailroom thing. But again, right, it's not supposed to be accurate. It is, it is like a fever dream of 90s corporate America. Jeez Louise. Alright. I feel like I should be doing more of these kick moves. Boom! Ba -ba -ba boom But, uh, you know, I just feel like they're not very accurate. Wow, this is a big level. I'm gonna take a gander at the map real quick. Uh-huh. So you think, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I was wondering how you, s you break, and I realized that the scoot... You can use the scoot to break a little bit. You have to give yourself a little bit of, uh... A little bit of stop power there. I feel like it's the audio is clipping out, but I can't be certain. I apologize if it is. Alright, here we go. More AOL discs. Oh jeez! Oh. Ha ha! See you later. Alright, here we go. A copy machine. So, right. So my the impetus in this level is, um... Is Commander our work? No. Is, uh... That I need to find an office with a window. Okay. Alright, Harry, you're the boss. What's this old boy saying? Run him, run him, run him. Yawn. I think I'll get up and stretch my legs for a while. Actually, never mind. I don't think the author of this game made any walking sprites. Oh, nice. Nice little, little meta humor there. Run him, run him, run him. I wish someone would call me on this phone. I sit here all day and it never rings. You know, as somebody who works in an office, that is the most unrelatable comment I've ever heard. There's nothing worse than getting a phone call. But maybe it was different back in the day. Or maybe they're just sort of, they're sort of painting a picture of how lonely the people are in the office. Where they, they even long, oh nice donuts, they long for a phone call. God. I think the living would envy the dead. Harry, this is Dr. Uberman. Where are you? Get to work now. Why a doctor? Again, right? Like I'm missing something. Whoa, what I do there? Is this is this a is this a pushing puzzle? 
A sign on the door reads, Donut Restocking Supply Room. Authorized personnel and management only. Beneath it has been scrawled, Wanda, stop eating all our donuts. Limit is two per day. Nice. I got a feeling that this is a Sokoban puzzle. Yeah, I'm getting a serious Sokoban vibe. Hope I'm saying that right from this game. Alright, here we go. Ah, fuck. Maybe I can use the plant. Seriously? Do I got this right? This this is seeming like they're making it more difficult to tell me that this isn't how I'm supposed to do it. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot though. This is a really difficult control scheme, but you gotta say to its credit, like even when it's difficult, it's still fun. You want to do it, you know. You're not annoyed with it. Although, it's gonna wear a little bit. Maybe if I just get in here. Oh, jeez. You know what? I'm good. I don't need donuts that bad. <laughs> Full on giving up on that. Is it timed? Maybe it's timed. Nah, it looks like it's momentary. Completely momentary. Yeah. Alright, well, you know, I'm just not gonna get 100% completion on this. Because honestly, like... I think I'm okay. Watch, it's like necessary you actually have to do that to, to get through this level or something. I don't know. I hope not. How are we doing here? Let's take a look at the map. Okay. Jeez Louise. We gotta get to the center of that for sure. Nice. Tax. I don't know why tax would hurt. Whoever spilled all these tacks on the floor, clean them up immediately. They pose a serious hazard to the feet of management. But like, you know, you're on a chair. Who cares? But again, I guess it's like, the point is that it's for management. I love that somebody took the time to craft a memo about it, rather than just like, clean it up themselves. But again, right? Like, that's... That's corporate America for you, man. I was definitely how I was supposed to get those other donuts, but... Oof! Oh, oh man! Mmm, <laughs> tasty! I love the audio, the, the voiceover mm, work on this. Mmm, tasty! I wonder where this guy is now. You know, I love playing old games that have, like... You know, I, I recently, I was, I was on YouTube and I found uh, a video of all the Bob sound effects from Marathon. And the guy who did the voiceover, the the he was the actor for that that character, was like, "What's up? I you know I was Bob in Marathon, and I just love that. You know that that guy was so um, such a huge part of my childhood. And me and my my friends, we would always like you know say those lines, and we love that game. He's just some dude. All right." Jeez Louise, more of this stuff. Uh. Uh. Alright, no, no, no! Not going in there. Let's take a look at the map. There's more going on there, uh, through the hallway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out. <laughs> oh. Okay. No. That's all that's there. That's definitely where I gotta go. Can't help but do the sound effects when they happen. It's yeah, it's it is. It's really cheesy, but it's great too, right? Like you gotta love it. I mean, I guess I gotta love it because I'm nostalgic about it. It's it's not objectively good or anything, but you know, I, I feel like the '90s Mac shareware scene is 
you know, I, and I didn't have a Windows PC then, so I, I don't actually know what the shareware scene was like on the Windows side. I know what the AAA side was like, because uh, all my friends had, you know, like, all the great games, but, you know, I had to make do with stuff like this. <laughs> and, man, some of these titles are just, I mean, they're stupid, but they're so charming. I love how on the plastic flooring, um, you, you have no directional stability. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, great. Thanks. Thanks for waiting. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I got you. Okay. That's pretty cool. So that's a little... Still don't have that key. Minimum, minimum. Evaluate the infrastructure. That's what we need to do. More oh, no. It's locked. <laughs> God, I love that sound effect. Sorry about that. Okay. So I clearly got to go over there. So I'm guessing that, yeah, you can't see my mouse cursor, but I'm guessing I need to go in the middle left over there, and that is probably where I will find this mystic blue key. Yeah, I reckon. Okay, I don't want to hit these tags any. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Again, it's annoying, but I want to get better at it. Even though it's kind of clumsy, it's not like, you know, when you when you play a game where the gameplay is is legitimately clumsy and irritating and there's no no desire on your part to get better at it or improve. You just want to turn the game off. For some reason, and maybe it is nostalgia, this game doesn't make me want to turn it off as annoying as the uh the actual interface is. Okay. Well, it's not annoying. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Whew. Okay, so I'm gonna go the other way. Because I gotta come down here anyways. Look at these, Look at these jokers. Oh, jeez! Oh! <laughs> you played me, game. You played me good. I love how... Oh, jeez! At the last meeting, someone in my department told engineering to empower technical told engineering to about i'm thinking these are randomly generated they have to be they're like nonsense straight up nonsense we could give a gander at the uh resource fork for this game later and see if we can find the text files for it all right caffeine there's our key oh yeah all right mm, yeah. Ah, get me out of these Ugh. I love how the the like axis of rotation for the sprite of Harry. Well, it makes sense. It's in the middle. You know, it's like right in his crotch. So, you know, as you spin around, there's a mass behind you. You know, a collision object that'll hit another collision object, and you you don't want that. So you got to be aware of it. Just like real office, you know? Just like real work. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I hate those tacks with all of my being. Did we go down here? Yeah, this is the stupid break room thing. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. I just want out. I just want out of this level. And where do we go? We have to go... Up. Yeah, up and across. Or we can go down and up. That's fine. We'll go down. It really does feel like one of those gravity-based space mechanic games uh, where there's like momentum and the only thing that's missing is gravity, but I guess, you know, that's like the minimum, fans. Minimum. Hello, is this Jason's desk? Jason who? Jason Jones, perhaps? Alright, more darts and more tacks. Great. I'm gonna find my my room with a view. Man, so this is the interior of that space. Looks like we got a long way to go in here. You know, I totally believe there is a level editor for this game, because it's clearly all like file-based. Yeah. I'm sure most games were at 
this time. What? Ugh. Another key? Okay. So I probably have to go south. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Ah. Uh, oh, thank goodness for this. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> oh, I tell you, I've been having a lot of fun with this computer lately. I don't know if some of you have seen it. I've been running renders on it. and It's good to be back, man. It's good to be back in this old machine. It, it, it's, I don't know if you read, it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm 34 tomorrow, I think. So, you know, it's like, that's not that old, but it's definitely older than I ever thought I'd reasonably be. And now playing this stuff, it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe this is some bad midlife crisis stuff going on here, but it, it really does feel good to be back in this old computer. And, and that's kind of the thing about old computers is that, you know, they never forget. They're, uh, they're the same forever. They never get better, they never get worse. There's our key. Whoa, what? Okay, all right. That changes everything, apparently. Some shrubs, office plants. Oh yeah. To kill the mailroom carts. I'm just gonna wait here for a sec. Let this guy go. Oh jeez, oh, man. All right, we got our blue key. We're getting out of here. Oh, look, guys, I see sunlight. This can't be the last level. Seekers of the sun. That's what he does. He wants a room with a view. As Harry wallowed in the glow of the warm afternoon sunlight, he brushed his hair from his forehead and breathed a deep sigh of contentment. When he finally got his promotion, his first vice presidential decision would be to have a window installed in his new office, and he'd get one of those nice, high-backed, plush swivel chairs with the black leather and ivory casters. He could see it now. Leaning back in his new chair, the creak of leather, the view spread out before him as if he were a king, an emperor, ruling over the toiling masses below from the inscrutable black obelisk of Scumco Tower. Okay, so let's, let's, um, I can't do the whole thing. Uh, they're coming this way, we're the Robots People Proletariat Liberation Front. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's getting political. Anti-robot, anti-people, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, so robots are here. Pam comes in. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. This is just a wall of text. How did you remember the true word? Okay, so we get a little bit of, a little bit of romantic uh, idiom here. All right. Okay. <sighs> okay, you robot fiends, he roared. Time for a little maintenance. Okay, so now we got robots. Robots are happening now. So buckle up. The game has changed. The script has been flipped. Harry, the handsome executive, has robots, y'all. Oh, listen to that music. Oh, shit. It's getting real. Harry, this is a crucial assignment. Take whatever action necessary. The robots who staff the customer service lines have revolted and are posing a serious threat. The PR guys piled some water coolers in the hall to hold them off. Good luck. Jeez. Okay, so why... What is this? What's this old minimum, minimum. Oh, Harry, I'm so glad you're here. The boss has sent an urgent member. I put it over there in your... Just in case you don't read it. They have a little, little uh, dialogue there. I mean, really, what's the difference between dial... Okay. Can I... No, I can't do anything with those. Okay. Interesting. Immovable objects. I just sort of started getting into programming myself after, you know, only ever learning basic, and, uh, I would love to do some very minimal classic Mac programming, but you look at something like this, and I guess it's, yeah, it must have been all written in C and then compiled, right? I mean, I remember reading about, like, Code Warrior and stuff, you know? I don't, I don't know how any of that stuff works, or even if it's still viable anymore if you wanted to code your own stuff. Is anybody even making software? I mean, other than like stuff like Classilla and, you know, the obvious uh, projects that we all use and depend on. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. We're here to play some Harry. But, uh, yeah. Oh, 
stuff like this. Ah, jeez. Well, that was pointless. Come on, Harry. Ah, oh, jeez. What did they expect you to do there? Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, Code Warrior, eh? Yeah, I think you're right. Like, I think Code Warrior... There's also what? There's like the... The Macintosh... Uh... Programming Workshop or something like that. There's like... Yeah? 68k MLA. Yeah, I should definitely look into it. I mean... You know, I do a bit of C, a, a tiny bit, like Arduino stuff, and I'm mostly doing Python, which, you know, is great, but <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's programming, but it's not, you know, it's not real programming. Just-in-time compilers. Interpreted code. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I will definitely look into that. I definitely want to do a video on programming. Uh, oh, I already came this way. Uh, classic Mac stuff, because I find it fascinating, right? I mean, how cool is that? This old computer, new software for it. I wonder if this is a good strategy. Probably not. Oh! Ah! oh my gosh, Harry, what are you doing here? What does this company even do? I love how this whole thing started with like, oh my gosh, robots, they're gonna kill us all. Oh, oh yeah. I do remember this. I remember this staple gun, that's right. I had totally forgotten this game had a staple gun. Right, that's like the whole thing. It's perfect. I like the CRT on that guy's desk. Unmistakable. Mm, tasty. I don't know, are you like me and you think that like classic computers, awesome. Classic monitors, eh. Classic file storage, <laughs> Like I couldn't care less. I got a, a heat kit. Um, it's, an, it's a Zenith, Z89. It's like, uh, it's an, uh, S100 bus computer. I'm not sure. I think it's a. I think it's a Z80. Yeah, it's a Z80. It's a yeah. And uh, you know, it uses five and a five and a quarter floppies. And I have like a I have like a whole file cabinet full of floppies for it. And none of them work. And it's this big hassle to get it to work. And I just want to enjoy the machine. And you can't because you can't. Whoa, that was lucky. You, you can't. Yeah, I mean, who really wants to dick around with floppies anymore? Honestly. <laughs> I'm getting real lucky with these mailroom cards. Do you see this thing struggling, though, to play this? I feel like I was just here. I feel like I'm going in circles. Yeah. Definitely been here. Okay. I've definitely explored this part. Let's go somewhere else. Let's see what else we got. I gotta get up there somewhere. I can't get through... The right side. What am I missing? I'm missing something here. Oh, maybe maybe the staple gun does something. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a burl. Alright. No, definitely not helpful in any way. Do I gotta kick these out of the way or something? Like what do I gotta do here? They definitely seem immovable. There was something down there I didn't check, didn't I? No, oh, I checked it. Oh dear. I appear well and truly lost. No, and that was just something that happened. I mean, it still happens for me. I'm like a terrible video game player. It's kind of a travesty that I'm pretending to be like some sort of like online videos video game let's play streamer uh, not a, not pro gamer material I can tell you I barely even play games but I mean you know these old games I mean, that's different. 
Can I go further down here? Alright, just, just for completion's sake, let's take a look down here. Maybe I missed something down here. Nope. Nope. Literally nothing. Okay. What am I missing? If you know, chime in. Like, by all means. Don't leave me hanging. I have no idea what to do here. Clearly, I gotta go up. How do I get in here? I gotta talk to this person? I already talked to that person. There's something in here I missed? That's where I came from. Mm hmm. I don't know, folks. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm sure it's gonna seem really obvious. Once I find it. Or if I die. Run, Harry! Ugh. Harry. Let's go talk to this person. Maybe they got some information for us. Run him, run him, run him. I'm just serving the night here. I always like to be in the fast lane on the information super highway. <laughs> Clever joke, eh? I'm just a wacky funster. You remember when the internet wasn't like ubiquitously tied to every single computer on the on it that you had access to and uh like the office is such a strange place to shoot the water coolers more okay all right, all right cool i'll give that a shot i'll give that a shot ah jeez louise shoot the water coolers more i will give it a shot it's worth a shot <laughs> Thank you, Justin Clark. <laughs> I knew it was going to be something obvious. I just figured, you know, I shot it a couple of times, and it didn't, like, degrade or anything, so I figured, nah, there's no way they want me to keep shooting it. But, no, they did. I'm just silly. Should have done it more. Oof. I do not like those mountain starts. Whoa! Evasive maneuvers. Pattern Epsilon Delta 2. Eat staple! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Sadly, Harry has bitten the dust. It is expected that his productivity may be dramatically lowered by this unexpected development. Would you like to continue from your most recent saved game? Shoot, man, that's Alert. way back there. Oh, nice. Sadly. Harry has bitten the dust. Oh. It is expected that his productivity may be dramatically lowered by this unexpected development. Would you like to continue from your most recent saved game? Sure. Why not? Thank you. Thank you, Mac OS 9. Gah! I miss Mac OS 9. Like, I, you know, again, it's just nostalgia. It's objectively a terrible <laughs> operating system for productivity. I'm still at this level. Oh, no. Oh no, we have to go all the way back. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, alright, now yeah, you know. Just know how far was I? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, alright. That's, you know, that was gaming. <laughs> That's how gaming used to be. What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to go way back no the key is the keys over here yeah the keys over here oh, we gotta go this way. Oh, my God. Oh. okay well at least I'm not gonna waste all that time next time around trying to find you know whoa 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 Shit, file a bug report with Ambrosia SW. Somebody get on the horn. Oh no, I am well and truly stuck. But I got my coffee, and I can- Oh, I can kick though! Okay, okay, and I can- I can go that way. But I can't move. Shit, okay. Oh my gosh. Yep, for sure. 
log that bug. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> Harry, get off the table, man. Your ass is gonna get fired, dude. Yeah, seriously, refund game. Someone gets silver server uh blah, blah, blah. someone gets surfer cereals on the phone. Tell him I want my money back. I'm just kidding. I definitely bought the game. I definitely went to Ambrosia and paid twenty dollars for a game of this quality. And to to even imply that I didn't. Alright, we're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna open the resave game here. Ah oh, jeez, quits right to desktop. Well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going to at least get back to where I was before I call it a night. That's, that's ridiculous. And there we go. Ah, I love that Apple menu. Jeez, eh, Ambrosia software, man. Kings, kings among men. What happened to them? Where did they go? You know? I, I mean, like, I, we need Ambrosia software now more than ever. And, and the, the I, I guess, you know, the guys who ran it. I mean, they grew up. They moved on with their lives. They did other things. You can't blame them for that. But don't you miss it? I know I do. Look at this. Mega condensed auto-activated bearing loop. Okay, it's just, that's cute. A lot of thought and attention put into it. Alright, here we go. So now we know not to try and take the cheap way out. You gotta go all the way. <sighs> Can't believe it. Can't believe I have to go all the way back here. Ugh. But now, you know, I'm pretty good at this. Alright, not going to do that this time. Where does this go? Right, we can't go that way. So I'm gonna have to go through this gauntlet. That's fine. I'll do it. There we go. Oof! It was worth it. It was worth it. Man, if there's one thing I love to do, it's play darts. My friends over there are having a tournament. Yeah, I can see that. I feel like if I, you know, swivel a little bit, you can change the collision shape. Maybe, you know? Ah, listen to me. Pro gamer over here. Didn't even, di didn't even know to use the staple gun on the, the water coolers. Stupid newbie. Oh we yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. I wonder if I'm allowed to use that copier again and update my save files. Whatever, whatever. Don't care. Still got the key. Still counts. Let's get those donuts. Okay, okay. Nope. Doesn't look like any. Maybe I can. Let me give it a shot. And then if I die, at least I won't have to go and get this stupid key again. Nope, can't do it. Sorry, Harry. Jeez oh, 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 Louise, man. Come on. Of course, of course. No, 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 no. <laughs> this game, man. It's good stuff, though. I mean, you know, it's hard. And I'm whinging and complaining, but... Hey. You wanna you wanna beat a game or do you wanna have your hand held the entire time? My day. Am I going the right way? Uh, no, I'm not. So yeah, I gotta go up. Okay. So the moral of the story is go and get the key before using the copter. And that kinda adds an interesting mechanic, because then it's like, 
You know, you have to choose when you're going to use the key. Whoever spilled all these tacks on the floor, clean them up. Blah, 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 blah. A little flavor text there. Actually, because I can't have flavor text now. Don't know. Mmm, tasty. It's such an interesting, like, brain exercise to have a sprite that has two sort of directions of travel and and like one is, is strong and one is short and you have to sort of you know remember which one's which and there's that bright yellow head of harry has which gives you a nice visual cue just in terms of like games me mechanics there's some interesting stuff going on in this game i think in my hobby opinion and it would be ripe for pilfering for a modern mobile game. I think you could translate a game like this to touch controls pretty easily. If you wanted to. You know, if you wanted to, like... And why not? It's not like Ambrosia's gonna do it. You know? Now, I'm not, I'm not suggesting you should copy the game's, you know, assets or anything. I'm just saying... The game itself might make a very nice, you know, the mechanics of the game might make a very nice mobile game. But I mean, compared to what's out there, I don't play it. I don't know why I would say that. That was kind of a cynical thing to say. Anyways, we're making progress now. We're making progress. Okay, we know for a fact this time that the key is over here. So let's go get that. Ugh. Oh, jeez, Louise. Go, 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 Harry. Oh, oh yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna try and get through this level and call it a night, because I've been playing for about an hour now, and, like, I think I'm pushing my luck, you know? Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, Harry. Come on, please, buddy. Oh, Harry, buddy. Alright. There it is. Although, if I quit now, I don't have a save file. Alright, I'll keep playing. I'll keep playing. Till we get to a save file, then I'm gonna call it a night. At least with this game, you know? Right. But we know now what to do. I'm gonna... Okay, there's my... Yep, got the crucial assignment. Oh, no, 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 yep, no, no. yep. Harry, so glad you're here. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, here we go. I wonder if I get to go back there. Alright, now, if I recall correctly, it was up there. Oh, here we go. Alright. There we go. Here we go. Come on, Harry. What? What the heck happened there? Oh, I'm definitely gonna get bonked now. Go, oh, Harry. <laughs> Super lucky. Okay, I can't go that way. Gotta hit the other door. Get out of the way. Oh, jeez. I like how they provide the option. No matter what. How much you want to bet that they didn't, like, they didn't come up with a multi-directional door? So they're like, ah, jeez. We gotta make it so you can get there no matter which way you come. So just put two doors in there. One going one way, one going the other way. I'm basing that on yeah. absolutely nothing at all. Alright. Got our stable gun. <gasps> ah, get our coffee. Coffee up. Alright. Know what to do this time. I'm not gonna blow it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I blew it. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Keep your eye on your comfort. My tip, my hot tip, my other hot tip is 
if you use the staple gun on the water coolers, shoot more than once. Shoot like three times. That is the adequate number of times to blow up a water cooler. Now if we can just get down here without getting hurt. Oh well. Eat staples electro breath. Nice, got him. We know you're coming. You're no match for us, pathetic human. We shall overthrow the evil corporate bourgeois with ease. Just try and stop us. Oh shit. This game's getting kinda political, eh? I don't know how comfortable I am with that. Mmm, tasty. You know, there's enough of that these days. But uh, back in the nineties, man, you know. Gosh. Things were so much simpler. Not better. Oh jeez. Go, Harry, go! Oof. <laughs> Oof. Let's get those donuts. Mm, I wonder if there's like a speed run, you know, in the speed run community, if there's a world record yet for uh, Harry the Handsome Executive. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure there is, you know. I got it for everything now. Mm, oh yeah. Can you tip me off where you are mm, before you even uh... Harry, Harry, get out of there. I like how Swivel, scumbag. <laughs> There's gotta be some more donuts. Oh jeez, I'm... Uh, no. Yeah. Well, I think that's game. I think that's game, folks. Ah, sadly, Harry has bitten the dust. It is expected that his productivity may be dramatically lowered by this unexpected development. Would you like to continue from your most recent saved game? You know what? It's not my fault. No, 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 that's okay. Thank you, Mac OS 9. I'm good. Well, there you have it. Harry, the handsome executive. I mean, you know, not the full game, obviously, but let's take a look at the credits here. 1997, Ben Spees, Ambrosia Software. Ambrosia, sorry. Ambrosia Software. Music by Eric Spear. Blake Wilson and Joth Rothman were uh, plot and design. Artwork by John Sled, additional stuff by Ben Spees. Ah, oh, Ben Spees was the voice of Harry. Very cool. Rosa Crew. Hector! Hector D. Bird! Of course. Hector, if you don't know, was Ambrosia's uh, parrot. Or macaw, or something like that. And I think he shows up in some way or another in every Ambrosia game. I think I may have that right. Look at all the titles. Look at all of the credits for this game. Good job, everybody. Good job. Oh, jo Josh Rothman. Web design. Good job, Rod. Josh. Midnight debugging sessions. Andrew Welch. There you go. Beak like a steel trap, Hector. Ah. You know, I mean, Ambrosia would really... I would consider it like... It's an indie game studio, right? I mean, back in the day. Even now, I guess they're an indie studio. I guess it's a little more nuanced and nebulous than and all that yeah pretty cool game very interesting you know I had never really played too much of it I was always more of an escape velocity guy or an Avara guy or something like that let's see if there's any included stuff somebody mentioned uh, level design or all that I just want to see what's there uh, uh, get out of here nothing Anyways, you know what? I'm just going to shut it down. Th thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. I'm definitely going to do it again. It was a rush. A lot of fun to uh, play a game in front of some people who are just numbers on a screen, completely anonymous. And uh, it, uh, it was real fun. I'm going to try something else bonkers next time. Who knows what we'll do. Uh, you know... 
lots of other fun games, but I'd also like to try uh, maybe some like coding sessions or something like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. So long. Oh wait, I gotta turn this off somehow. Right, I gotta do that this way. Okay. Great, here we go. So long.